My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. <laughs> Do you little clown? You just saw we turned on the video camera. Two babies. Two babies. I would like to introduce to everyone our new baby mink, Mischief. I had no plans on getting another mink this year, but things don't always turn out as you plan. So there's a story behind how I ended up with this cute little mink. I really didn't plan on getting another baby. I was totally satisfied with Fang and how she was doing. Man, she was turning into such an awesome hunter. And, you know, I really just wanted to put time into her. You know, go and enjoy hunting with Fang. And, and I also still had Rio, of course. And, you know, I didn't need a third mink on top of the other two I had. So I thought, well, you know... I'm just going to stick with the two mink I have. They're more than enough work. You know, I, I have no interest in getting a baby this year. But then, the little surprise came along. Someone contacted me one day and told me that they were raising a little mink. But they had realized that trying to keep that little mink into adulthood was going to be a huge mistake. I mean, like I've explained in other videos, mink are very intense little creatures. And they become intense from a very young age. Even little babies still drinking the bottle can draw blood easily. They're, they're a very high-strung little creature. And they realized that keeping an a mink into an adulthood would have been far too much for them. <laughs> Rather than making the mistake further in keeping this mink as an adult, they decided that they better find it a new home. Now, finding a home for a mink can be very challenging. I mean, realistically, the vast majority of people just don't have the time, the patience, or the know-how to properly care for a mink. <laughs> she runs too fast, huh, Olive? I thought carefully and uh, tried to find the best home for this little mink. But while she was in my care, I started to fall in love with her. Um, Especially watching her interact with my little girl, Olive. She's like, Olive, where are you going? Olive and this little mink just hit it off right from the get-go and became close little buddies. And it was just so cute watching them play and interact together. <laughs> and so I broke down and decided, well, maybe I would keep yet another mink. <laughs> and so... We have Mischief. She's the newest addition to our family, and we're glad that she's here. <laughs> 